Okay, so mine's a little clunky. Make sure to tighten everything down. We've got the, uh, if you guys notice, the, um, the one. So here is the engine room of RMS Titanic. We've got the two reciprocating engines on either side. And we've got the turbine in the middle. You can see the flywheels on the reciprocating engines going right down to the gearbox that's running the whole thing. Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you back um, to the Titanic build in the 1200 scale. This is actually my first update video. And when I had finished doing the engine room, um, there was, when it was running, it was, it was clicking and I didn't like the click. Um, it wasn't running, running as smoothly as possible and what ended up happening was the, um, the thrust blocks needed to be adjusted. You can see the thrust blocks are right in front of the flywheel, right in front of the reciprocating engines. And when they would rotate, it would click because, the, um, because of the flywheel, the position and the, um, the shaft on the inside. Um, the curvature of it and I didn't know how to fix the curvature I didn't want to break it so I ended up adjusting the heights of the thrust blocks and I took them off I took the engines off and in a way that I used to loosen them up is I put the end of the um, the shaft and I put it into a drill then I put it into the engine and I ran it and I ran it for a while to kind of break in the engines, if you will. You know, kind of like a real engine. They need to kind of be broken in before they get peak performance. So I ran it for a while, and it actually worked a little bit. Um, it made everything much smoother. Then I put the engines back on the engine room floor. I put the um, thrust blocks back in, and then I put the turbine back on. And I had taken the motor off too, um, just to make sure that it was as much forward as possible and what I did, another correction that I made, was there were little lips on the floor of the engine. And when you push the motor um, housing down, it should click. You should hear it all click. And I didn't hear it click last time. So the engine wasn't as far forward. Well, the motor wasn't as far forward as it should be. That way there, and that because of that, it was, uh, this engine would like work when it wanted to. And I had to actually push on it. But if you're having that issue, uh, make sure that the feet are clicking into place. Also, the uh, thrust blocks need to be adjusted. So why don't we go ahead and put it on for you. You can see, running pretty well. And you've got that whine, but that's from the motor and the gears. But I'll put up the, um, the video that I did last time. You could hear like a click. It would go, gong, 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 gong. And I didn't like that sound. So, like I said, I adjusted the thrust blocks. And that made it run a lot smoother. So let's take a look around the engine. How cool is that, huh? Incidentally, I'm going to be doing a video, uh, I'm working on a video now to do the engines of the Titanic, so I look forward to that. Look into where the gangways are. And we got the turbine steam pipes, and we got the thrust block. And you can see it's a lot smoother now. The way it's running, there are no clicks, no sounds. And then you can see the gangway coming down to the walkway. Can you imagine how amazing it would be to actually walk on that? And again, you guys gotta be careful with these pins on top, because the slightest little thing will screw them up and break them off. And I found that out the hard way, I had to glue that one back on. 
trying to get it to stay with still. That's why it's a little off center. And from the last issue, working on the engine, there's a couple of pieces that I thought were extra, but they weren't extra. They don't give anything extra. I actually put, put those pieces back on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn it around so we can actually look at the, um, the port side. Seeing it from a different angle. Let's zoom in and show you guys the engine on the port side. Again, you can see the flywheel. It's a little bit crooked. I tried to straighten it out. That um, helped with the uh, the clicking as well. But the thing is, it's super glued on, and I did not want to break that. And you can see the. The walkway, the staircase. I'm pretty sure on the original ship, <laughs> the swing arms weren't that close. Where you'd have to actually duck or not be able to walk past them. But this is still really cool. And again, you can see the mistake on the top. It's a little bit off center on the pin, or the steam pipe, the release valve. showing you the steam turbine and all the way down to the gearbox that we put in. Let me see if I can turn it around. I'll show you guys because I'm sure what's going to happen with the gearbox is the propellers are going to come out of the back. And you can see them rotating. So that'll be for the three propellers that are going to come out the back of the ship. Again, that will click into place, the little feet that go on the stand, around the floor of the engine room. And I didn't really put that into position yet because they didn't call for that in the instructions, but that's where it's going to go. The turbines that are going to hook up to the reciprocating engines. Let me turn it around for you guys so you can see a another view of the front of the engine room. So we got the turbine, we got the reciprocating engines, you can see the flywheels moving, the piston rods, the swing arms, we got all the pieces on. So this is like a little continuation or like a little uh, conclusion to the build video. Like I said, I did the, the build video and when I showed you guys the engines that were running, I didn't like that clip. So what I'll do is I'll put up a side by side. I'll show you the video from last time and I'll show you the updated video and you can tell the difference. Alright, this is going to be such an amazing model when it's done. So let's turn it around and see if I can show you guys the back. You see those little gangways that are on the piston um, legs. So my friends, I just wanted to share this update with you because I really didn't like the way the last video ended on the build. Like I said, that click was bothering me. So if you guys have that problem, try adjusting the, um, the thrust blocks. And I was an idiot. I ended up gluing them. So I had to break the bottom away from the floor in order to adjust the height. So I think I'm going to refrain from using the super glue on sections like that now with the screws anyway. But my friends, that was the conclusion of the build of shipment number seven of Bill, the RMS Titanic.
And I'm looking forward to issue or shipment number eight. And we'll see what we got to continue this amazing build. So my friends, until that video comes out, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.